Honey, I don't get paid enough to try to de-escalate nothing like that. Then I hear, what are you stomach? What's up YouTube? It's your girl it's Tati K and I'm back with another video. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell down below so you're notified whenever I post. And as you all can see from the title of this video, it is yet another story time. But don't worry, I do have some challenges coming up. They'll be posted maybe next week, sometime next week. But bear with me, I know. I'm trying to do vlogmas a mix between story times, challenges, and just other little fun videos. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get into it. This is a story time about the time my manager fought a customer. <sighs> like, what happened to the customer's always right? I mean, like, after working in retail myself, that's not true. The customer be dead wrong sometimes. And I understand stories try to honor what the customer is saying but sometimes what the customer is saying is some bull all right so we're trying to keep this channel clean we're gonna keep the channel clean we're gonna keep the channel clean all right <laughs> anyways this story actually is not an old story it's kind of recent because i didn't quit walmart until this year over the summer yeah so this story had to take place like i want to say it was maybe you guys it took me a minute to actually think about like around when this event took place because honestly i was on and off with walmart a lot um i took a lot of leave of absence i would call out a lot i just really hated the job it was really draining i didn't want to be there and just trying to balance that job which is already stressful in itself and then school and everything else yeah so it was just the dates may be wrong but anyways you guys get the gist all right um this story had to take place like let's say april it had to be like around april we're gonna give it that timeline because what's important is the story so you know because i was in school like this was before i graduated because i was in school i would be working shifts like five to ten stuff like that because college was kicking my butt <laughs> Okay, I was tired. I was doing freaking two jobs. Literally, I had two jobs. I was trying to go to the gym. And college feels like a whole nother job. It really does. I don't know how I made it through it all. But, you know, it was a lot going on. So, I would work shifts 5 to 10 at Walmart. And a lot of times, I would be getting off my other job first. So, with that being said, I was already kind of tired. So my days would be school from like, um, what time was my first class? I want to say it was like 8 to, my days were basically like 8 to 3.30. And then like I would go home real quick, um, throw something in my mouth, eat something real quick. If I had to change my clothes, change my clothes. And then go ahead and head to Walmart. Probably I wouldn't change my clothes because I know Walmart, they try to push that policy of don't wear graphic tees, da da da. But at the end of the day, I wore what I wanted to wear. Now, I did have a few CSMs and or, yeah, basically just little supervisors try to check me on what I'm wearing. But nonetheless, I kept it pushing. I was still wearing the hoodies. No, like, come on now. If you were to call me out, we got to call everybody out. Don't wear earbuds, da -da. Don't do this, da -da. Didn't nobody pay that no attention. Then nobody pay that no attention. The reason I would change is because if I wanted to change, just simple as that. So I'll be getting ready for my five to ten shifts. I get there around like mm, 5.25. I ain't gonna lie. I was late to Walmart, especially during this time. So I already I had already made up in my mind that I was gonna quit. I don't wanna be there no more. And like, don't be slothful at your job. This is just something I did. But I did give it two weeks' notice. Alright. So it was nighttime and around what well, was almost nighttime it was almost nighttime so i was like you know around sunset to where it started to get dark and it was just me and closing shift would usually be me and like two other cashiers it wasn't a whole lot we would have like both self checks open and one register open you know walmart is famous for that one register so maybe two on a good day so 
we had two managers at night but for some reason i believe the other manager had called out and we only had one manager that night now that one manager we were really cool with like she was real cool we liked her another thing i forgot to mention and you guys will hear me hop on and off this voiceover a lot but is that while this manager was cool she didn't take no mess so like a customer could be trying to be like oh explain why they're right about a situation but she would shut it down real quick and be like well no our policy is x y and z like she was literally a manager that had your back which is why i said she was so cool and like she didn't like nobody talking to her cashier's crazy like she really made sure we got a lot of respect for a lot of situations and you know she if you were right you were right if you were wrong you were wrong she was just basically she gonna do as you know what policy says but she was also very much lenient with us and i guess she no she was manager csm customer service manager she was really cool everyone liked her like we like the other one too i'm sorry i'm gonna try to make this the last voiceover so we could just get through the video but also what i felt to mention was that these the two managers we now have like during the day towards nighttime they used to be the overnight managers you know before Walmart started closing early um I used to think they were really mean because of how I would kind of see them treat the overnight cashiers and I just really thought they were gonna be mean when they moved to the daytime it was kind of dreadful for me but after like getting to know them they were like really nice really cool and we did like both of them it's just that I tend to work with one more than the other honestly but that's why she just she just really didn't care um yeah we really liked her so she had me at self check and that night she was at the customer service desk and i believe this lady came in around this lady came in around she had to come in at like 9 50 because i didn't know i was about to no because i would have been walking to the bed she had to come in like around 9 30 let's say 9 30 and i knew i was getting ready to leave so i started straightening up like the little um self-check area for you know the person that would be staying there a little bit later than me so they could have you know everything kind of neat organized whatever this lady comes in and i don't see what she's trying to return but whatever it was i don't believe it could have been returned simply for the fact the simply for the fact that when my manager was at customer service the lady was explaining to her what she was trying to return. My manager kept telling her, no, you can't return this, da da da. Cause either, I really don't remember what it was. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you all. Either way, she couldn't return it. All of a sudden, like, everything's quiet over there. And I'm sitting here watching the other uh, people at self-check. The doop, doop, doop. Then I hear, what are you doing? I, I'm not gonna repeat what they said, but I just heard a lot of cursing, a lot of cursing, a lot of cursing, a lot of cursing. I'm like, what's going on? I'm looking around, I'm looking at customer service. I see my manager over there. Let's see, I feel like a cashier had to be over there too because somebody was keeping her swinging on a woman. I hear, you stupid, da 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 It's just cursing, cursing, cursing. I'm just like, what's going on? I see them all up in each other's face. They about like, they pushing each other back and forth. I'm like, what's going on? And mind you, the lady, the lady that was over there, she had a son. Now, granted, my manager probably could have handled it better. However, the lady did put her hands on her first. I did see that she put her hands on her first. And I was kind of like, I felt really bad about the situation because her son was there. Like, if they were to call the cops, like, this thing, whole thing could have escalated. But luckily, the cops weren't called. But a, cut, a cashier had gone over there trying to help, trying to de-escalate the situation. Actually, thinking back on it now, the cops were called, but it wasn't until later. Honey, I don't get paid enough to try to de-escalate nothing. Like, we've had several situations where people almost got to fight in that store at de-escalate. De-escalate what? <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough to talk to de de-escalate the situation. I'm not de-escalating nothing. Matter of fact, when we do the little, um, what are the things, CBLs in the back, those little practice, uh, <laughs> those little practice or little trainers, it tells us to avoid conflict. I'm not about to de-escalate a thing. That is not in my pay. No, de-escalate. What? What is that? Um, but I guess she was being a good Samaritan at that time. She goes over there trying to, you know, get in between and separate them until the manager trying to calm down, calm down. You know, this is your job. Just calm down, calm down. You got to take care of calm down. Like, she's telling her all this. And I'm sitting there looking like, mm, couldn't be me. <laughs> yeah, couldn't be me. But they're arguing, they're arguing, they're arguing. And all the ladies just, like, the 
who was it? It had to be like another cashier or like another manager. She's um, escorting the lady out or saying like, we're gonna have to call the police if you don't leave. All the way out the store. We hear stupid, stupid, stupid. Like she's just cursing her all the way out. And I hear my manager say, I don't know if nobody else heard it, but she's like, she looked out and got my. And then like tells her, I'll be waiting for you outside. And she like, I'll oh, be outside. I'll oh, be outside. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Don't do it. I'll be outside. I'll be outside. And my manager was like, I get off at 10. I get off in 30 minutes. I get off at 10. Wait for me. And I'm just saying like, hold on now. I get off at 10 too. <laughs> I get off at 10 too. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, don't get a shooting outside. I'm sitting here like, oh, no, no, no. Well, this can't be good. And I got customers, <laughs> like, it was so loud. Customers coming up to me and telling me, like, you know, people be nosy off in other people's business. And I'm just like, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I said, I guess it was a return gone wrong. Somebody gonna end up on the next 48 though after that like mm. so I get off the clock I'm like all right it's 10 o'clock but I'm trying to go home and I seen the lady outside still she's on the phone fussing telling some pull up pull up like she's oh and mind you she while she was arguing with her she was on the phone with somebody telling them to pull up pull up pull up I'm like oh no 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 don't do that and she's still on the phone talking, pull up, pull up. So I guess they weren't trying to pull up for real, honestly. Because why you keep telling them to pull up? Like, is they going to pull up? Yes or no? And she's telling them to pull up, pull up. And then I guess, like, they told my manager to kind of, like, just wait until, like, they can get her escorted off the property. Because they, they actually did. They didn't call the cops, like, right in the store. But they did call the cops when they found that she was still in the parking lot. And from there, I honestly don't know what happened because... I went home. I'm not waiting around for nothing to go down. I'm not waiting around for nothing. I'm gone. I was tired. I got school the next day. I got time for all this. And that's the story time of when my manager fought a customer. Anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoy. And I hope you guys are enjoying my vlogs this far. If you haven't already, stop being weird, yo. Like, stop being weird. Go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. Hit that notification bell down below. Hit that notification bell down below so you're notified whenever I post. Again, I will well not again, because I didn't say it in this video. I said it in the last one though. But let me say it for this one. If I get a thousand subscribers before the end of this year, before the end of this month, I will do the one chip challenge and record it for you all. Anyways, you guys, follow me on Snapchat. Instagram, I almost said Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I don't like Twitter at all, honestly. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. It'll be listed down in the description box down below. Alright, I'm done. Love you guys. Bye.